Virginia Hereford Association's Bull Development Program was established in 2001, with the first group of senior bulls going on test in early August. In 2001, the market for Hereford bulls was soft. A group of like-minded Hereford breeders knew that Hereford bulls would provide value for commercial breeders and the Virginia calf crop. Crossing Hereford and Angus cattle provides hybrid vigor through heterosis, improving size, growth rate, and fertility in their progeny. These breeders knew they needed to improve the Hereford bulls being offered and maintain continuous quality improvement. This was the incentive for establishing the bull development program. Better management practices, genetic testing, and performance evaluation increases the quality of bulls to meet commercial breeders' needs. Resources from Virginia Tech and the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, VDAX, were utilized to establish the program. VDAX, Virginia's finest program, established the baseline for performance standards. In naming the program, the word development is used to direct the program's purpose. Bulls are targeted for an average daily gain of 3.5 pounds per day. It's not a race to see how fat they can get, but to see how they perform in a controlled contemporary group. Although numbers are important in evaluating bulls' performance potential, the key component of the program is the visual evaluation by a VDAX grader, an impartial evaluation of muscle, structural soundness, and overall quality helps ensure the product that is produced meets the needs of commercial breeders. Performance tested bulls are essential to reducing risk in your breeding program. Bulls are 50% of the genetic value of your calf crop. The bull's value is even greater if you keep replacement heifers. With this video, we hope you will see the efforts made to provide commercial breeders with high quality, performance tested Hereford bulls. Virginia's Finest Bull Test Program is a program where we uh, actually use the standards that are, have been established to evaluate the bulls. It's a method that the Virginia seed stock purebred breeders can use to uh, kind of take their bulls to the next level and, and have a little more credibility. It's based not only on the EPDs, the expected progeny differences of the individual breeds or individual bulls of those breeds, but it's also based on a performance test, an on-feed test, and they have to meet certain criteria there. But then the final stage of that is in the actual visual evaluation uh, performed by somebody from Virginia Department of Agriculture Livestock Marketing Service, Services that evaluate quality and soundness of those animals. Uh, even disposition comes into play in, in this program. The interest for, to, for, a, for a breeder, I should say, should be to uh, participate in something like this. For, for number one, you're, you're competing against different bulls. And uh, number two, it's putting good genetics out there and uh, eliminating anything that's questionable or doesn't pass. And, uh, and so it keeps good progeny coming in, in, the, com in the commercial herd and uh, e even in a breeder herd. And it has spoken well for our uh, test here because uh, uh, we've got a lot of good feedback. For bulls to be eligible to be tested or to be qualified for the Virginia Finest Program, they have to be in a contemporary group of at least 15 bulls. They have to have ratioed at least 95 or better in that ratio of that group to be qualified for Virginia's Finest. Virginia's Finest program is a program that was developed by the Virginia Department of Agriculture to identify products, not just livestock, but a full range of products that uh, have been produced in Virginia uh, to give them that credibility and for folks to know that they're buying local and that they're using those methods to, uh, to identify uh, the products that are produced here in our, in our Commonwealth. What the test uh, we, we do here is more what I call an on-farm test where uh, we're hand feeding them twice a day. They're having to come into the barn. If there uh, happens to be an issue with a bull, uh, as I'm monitoring them to come in, uh, if they lay back the morning and then I see them again in the afternoon, then I'm on the front end of 
catching a, maybe a possible issue with that bull because I can, you know, get it in, take a temperature, you know, see what's going on with that bull. And uh, in, in doing so, we've uh, had a really good success in um, bulls not uh, leaving the program prematurely due to sickness. We, we tend to spend more time with the bulls one-on-one -on -one, uh, and because uh, as they come in, not only do I watch them how they come in from the lot, but also, you know, once they get in the barn, I can uh, see how they, you know, react and, and what they're doing. And so, you know, we can, we can get on the front end of most any, any problem. It's just worked really good for us. The value of performance testing bulls gives both the breeder that's producing those bulls and the buyer an idea of how those, those bulls are performing and it also gives them an idea of what to expect from the offspring from that bull. You've got bulls that are high gaining bulls, chances are they're going to transmit some of that genetically to their offspring. You know, it's all about producing a quality product. Uh, that, that is going to be efficient, number one, but is also going to produce enough pounds to make it a profitable enterprise. What we're going to do throughout the test is, uh, is take their weight and try to get them to their yearling weight, which is 1,050, and we'll do uh, ultrasounding and a breeding soundness, and uh, you know they have to, and then they'll also be graded if a, if a person or a breeder wants to learn something about bulls and about their bulls, but about bulls in general and, and, and is looking at participating in the program, one of the best days to show up would be the day that we, we uh, grade them. And, and that way you can see what the grader, what he's looking for. The bigger bull has a lot of depth of rib to him, a longer hip, a pretty good top in him, and tremendous bone under him. The smaller bull, if I had to fault him, I would fault him on his growth, but I would also fault him in that he is not quite as heavy a boned as the, as the bigger bull. If you wanted to see a good score, let's say you had a bull and you wanted to see a good score and you said, well, what's that score? You want to hear a 3-3-16. Three, three, That's about as good as you'll get. Three on uh, structure, uh, three on muscling, and uh, 16 on overall quality. Most of our bulls will probably be like a 3-3, say, average of 14. So it's a real important day to come, and anybody that even, even if you're not participating and want to learn a little something about uh, overall quality of bulls, it would be a good day to, to come and uh, be with us. 43 is a number three muscle bull, three on soundness. I've got a 16 on him as well. Again, another complete bull that's sound. Got a lot of bone under him. Tremendous top in him. Showing you a lot of muscle. Still got a lot of grow in him. One of our objectives is to, to sell bulls, but the most important ingredient is to use the data that we get from the bull test program. Go back home and evaluate uh, what we've been doing at home with our genetics, with our management, uh, pre-weaning, post-weaning, until they get here to the test. Uh, those are the things that, that I take away uh, to help me uh, be a better uh, seed stock producer. It's uh, been a very profitable uh, situation for uh, our farm is in fact that uh, we are able to take our young bulls that are sometimes need to be uh, uh, in an area where they're by themselves and not bothering other animals, so we're able to bring them over here and put them on test and, and test them against other uh, people's uh, cattle and see how they uh, do. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful program and uh, I think it's growing uh, leaps and bounds. Hopefully it will continue for a number of years. We will get uh, performance data, scan uh, information on our bulls, weights, and also be able to compare them to other producers of Hereford cattle in the uh, Virginia area. It helps us open up an, an additional market so we can sell additional bulls. The Virginia Hereford Association Bull Development Program, I'm really excited to be involved with that. 
I'm actually, uh, it's actually my first time here. I'm, I'm uh, interested in like seeing how to improve my herd and, um, and improve, an improvement of the Hereford breed. The reason I chose to be in the Virginia Hereford Association Bull Development is just because of good experience and I think it's run well and um, everybody is on top of it and we've got quality bulls to compare it with so um, that was kind of the reason why I chose to come back. I've been here before and just wanted to do it again. There's been a lot of good genetics uh, as far as bulls coming from the state of Virginia used across North America. Uh, lots of bulls from this area in Virginia have also went on to be uh, in uh, several of the major AI studs in the country and if you go look uh, in pedigrees all over the country you'll find some genetics that were born and raised here in Virginia. The big thing I'm seeing is the increased quality. This group of breeders have gotten together and, and they've used this program to better their herds. They've used this program to, to improve their genetics to the point that now basically any bulls that in my opinion do not pass my visual appraisal for either quality or soundness, chances are have, been, have already been kicked out either on feed efficiency or some other reason. So, you know, now instead of having two bulls that, that pass the test out of 16, we may have two or three bulls out of 30 or 40 that don't pass the test. So with that, that percentage has totally reversed basically from the inception 15 years ago. The whole program has just, I think, raised the bar um, for the Hereford breeders here in the state of Virginia. And, and it's benefited because some of these bulls have actually uh, gone to other purebred Hereford breeders. And they're realizing that, you know, yes, these bulls are kind of the cream of the crop. And so that's why I think the program has been successful both to the commercial and the purebred breeder. My name is Bob Schaefer. I'm one of the original team members that established the Bull Development Program and have managed the program from its inception in 2001. There are two winners as a result of the Bull Development Program. Hereford breeders producing today's Hereford bulls and commercial breeders who rely on their bulls to produce quality calves for their market. The Hereford breeders participating in the Bull Development Program have truly functioned as a team, using all of today's technology to continuously improve and produce the highest quality Hereford bulls. A win for one is a win for all. The commercial breeders have available to them today a quality Hereford bull that will enable them to take advantage of high bred vigor through heterosis, which increases size and growth rate of their calf crop as well as increased fertility in the replacement heifers, all keys to profitability. Hereford breeders today are ready to supply performance-tested Hereford bulls to meet the market demand. Sales for Hereford bulls are growing, and repeat customers attest to the satisfaction of the commercial breeder for quality Hereford bulls.